What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Ultra Crypto, the birthplace of absolutely legendary gains. I am recording this video outside right now. I don't. I am not in my office, so hopefully the audio is not going to be too bad. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin and how I predicted that we were going to be going down instead of going up. I will explain my thought process, and in this video, I am going to talk about as well as some you know other factors you know on chain data some indicators just to understand where we are headed this week are we going to go back to like 34k or even 32k or you know is this going to be the end of it and we are going to start pumping so if you want to figure out exactly what's going to happen make sure you stick around to the end of this video but otherwise if you haven't already followed me on twitter at underscore the art of crypto you're going to want to do so this is where i'm sharing the latest market updates as well as any coins that i might be looking at if you just want you know all the latest updates check out the twitter but otherwise let's get back into it so let's discuss these two levels that i drew out before so usually what happens on a sunday right on a weekend is that you tend to form a range between friday's high and friday's low which in this case friday's low was 36,200. friday's high was about 38,000. and every time every single time when you come out of the weekend you will always take out both sides with the liquidity before the true move shows itself so for example you got a false move right here on sunday right which was yesterday where you wicked above right you went above sunday sorry friday's high and then you start reversing right to take out friday's low this always happens every single weekend so if you want a you know more in-depth video discussing this check out the video on the top right hand corner right it's a pattern that repeats itself every week and yet yeah, nobody talks about it so that was the reason why i was able to predict hey you know we're going to go short because you know you took out friday's high already right which means the buy side liquidity has been taken out and by buy side i just mean like shorts because if you're short then your stop loss would be up here right and when you get stopped out you will market to buy so that's what i mean by buy side liquidity so at the moment we are still en route to taking out the sell side liquidity now the question is do we take out only this side like do we only go back to 36100 or like 36200 or do we go back to 35500 as well as 34000 so that's going to be the question we have to figure out at the moment though i am banking on the fact that we absolutely absolutely hit 36200 and for those of you who might be interested i caught this trade yesterday right caught the short so if you want to take you know follow along with all my trades as well as get all the latest market updates which i've already talked about yesterday right write a full-on newsletter about what i think is going to happen then you're going to want to check out the private discord group right over here you're going to get access to the trading course as well where if you just want to step up your trading this is definitely going to be the place to do so we are making money pretty much every single day and let's just say you're going to make back your money pretty pretty quickly so let's go back into it right just to show you at the moment we are still en route down here because what's going to end up happening is in my opinion is something that you call the judas swing so every time you get a weekend range right you wake up you wake down this is the judas swing right and then you show the true direction right which if you haven't already watched that video that i linked on the top right hand corner it's going to look something like this right you have your first accumulation actually let me just draw it out for you guys so that it's not as confusing so it's going to look something like this right it's like a three level formation this is level one level two level three and then you know you come down same cycle you repeat it again and as you can see currently we are following exactly like that pattern right you have your level one level two you know your range just a bit here and then you know you're coming back down so this always happens like every week so right now we have to figure out you know are we indeed going to form that kind of a pattern and if we are, then we are very likely going to come back down to at least 35,000, like 500 ish, right? Just to take out the liquidity here before we do another Judas swing to the upside. And if that happens, right, you're going to get, you know, level one, level two, maybe a level three at 40,000. And then Thursday, Friday, you're going to come back down. So this is what I'm expecting this week. At the moment, though, I am still short and I will continue holding the short at least until 36,200. And at least like 35,500 right if we decide to just wick down here and then reverse then I, what i would do is i would open a for example right in this position here i took on one percent risk so in this situation i will take on a long position risking 0.5 percent of my account with a stop loss somewhere below here right 
And if it comes back to here, then I'll add another 0.5% risk. And then I will close part of my short at both of these levels. This is something that you call hedging. And it is something that you do when you are unsure of market conditions. So when you do come down here, you know, either way, you're going to make money. And when you do hedge long, right, when you go long here, you move your stop short, sorry, your short stop loss into profit so that when it does, you know, finally reverse and goes into that three level formation, then your longs are going to be in deep, deep profit. And, you know, you secured all your profits from the short, right? That's the fundamentals of hedging. And at the moment, this is what I think is going to happen at least today or tomorrow. So right now, you know, let's get into a couple of the factors that I really want to talk about. And I'm just going to take it straight from the Discord group. So firstly, you know, let's take a look at on-chain data, right? The number of outputs per transaction for Bitcoin, right? Every time this thing spikes like really high, you tend to go through like short-term pullbacks. And when I mean pullbacks, I mean like dumps, like nukes. And at the moment, the number of outputs per transaction is, you know, back, it's very reset right now. And so this piece of data tells us that we are likely not going to see some kind of massive, massive 30 to 40% dump. If anything, we can still see 10 to 20%, but probably not 30 to 40%, which means more likely than not, I don't think we're going back to 28k in one single move. Of course, this can change. I'll be sure to keep you guys posted if anything changes. Now, the second one is to look at, you know, this one right here, metric description. So basically, every time this has came back down to this level, we have formed a high low, right? And at the moment, we have come back down to this level. And if anything, we shouldn't be worrying that we're going to nuke another 30 to 40%. You know, besides that, the one that I really want to talk about is moon phases. If I just bring this one up, right? And I know some of you guys are going to immediately put this off and say, wow, that's ridiculous. This guy is using moon phases to do his trading. But I just want you to go back to every single instance of a moon phase, right? The new moon is coming out tomorrow, right? 1st of February. And every single instance we have had this, right? We have had an immediate just dump, right? And this is this effect is even more pronounced during times of a downtrend, right? When you get a downtrend, you get the new moon, bam, right? You get the new moon, bam, right? And at the moment, we're getting a new moon tomorrow. So this just lines up with the theory before that we are very likely going to just wick down below this point of liquidity before showing the true move upwards. Now the question is going to be, are we going to wick below 32,800? At the moment, I don't think we're going to. So for now, the levels to focus on is 34,000 for sure, right? Last week's video, I talked about 34,000. If we were to return back to this level, right, this is going to be your area for longs. So if you just take a look at a one hourly chart right now, you draw this, and this is a one hourly order block. And if you remember that pattern that I drew just now, right, the level three formation always comes back to the initial point of consolidation, right, which you might argue could be this point right here. So if you ever get back to 34,000, this is an area where I would definitely take along. Not saying this is financial advice, I'm just telling you guys what I would do personally, right, with a stop loss at about 32,800, right, give or take. So that's going to be the plan for now. And you know, just on a side note, yesterday I saw a lot of people on Twitter talking about this, oh, ascending triangle, you know, big move is gonna come, you know, you're gonna go back to 40,000. You know, sometimes it helps to understand the market makers, you know, method of doing things. You haven't taken out Friday's low, so there's no way, right? Even if you do go up, right, it's probably gonna be a false move. So at the end of the day, you know, not to say patterns don't work, but you gotta apply it in the right context. At the moment, you know, yesterday, this was the wrong context, right? This ascending triangle thing. And moon phases, you know, moon phases, for all it's worth, is actually very effective. I think it probably has like a give or take, like an 80 to 90% win rate, right? In the fact that you always have that kind of reaction whenever you get the new moon or the full moon. And currently, if you found this video helpful, it would help me a lot as well if you could just drop a like button. It's a small gesture, but it really, really helps a lot. So before I end this video off, you know, Let's just say, let's just give you guys a piece of advice. The bottom is close, all right? The bottom is very close. Back then, I was talking about this zone being a potential bottom if we were to come back to revisit it. At the moment, we are, you know, we have already tapped into that area and now's not the time to be fearful. Now's not the time to be getting fearful. If anything, you know, the people who pull the trigger and pull off some buys are probably going to be rewarded very heavily three to six months down the line. And so if you're 
you know, if you're pretty fearful right now, my word of advice is the bottom is close, right? You don't necessarily have to catch the exact bottom in order to make money in crypto, right? That's where dollar cost averaging comes into play. You never want to, like, you never ever want to just throw all your money down into one single position at one price point, right? That's never a smart thing to do. You look at the smartest traders in the industry and they tend to deploy their capital, right? Their account capital 1% at a time. And when they take profit, they take percent, like one to two percent at a time. So just goes to show the power of DCA, right? Dollar cost averaging. So if that's you right now, the level set I would still watch for in order to dollar cost average is going to be 34,000 as well as 32,000, right? Back then, 32,500 to 32,000, that level still stands. If we get that, right, I'm still going in. Again, not financial advice, just showing to you guys what I would do. And I would definitely dollar cost average and pay attention to 29,300, right? This level is going to be absolute key. If you do get back here, right, what's going to happen is you're just going to wick down slightly above it, sorry, below it, and then you're going to do, you know, that Judas swing and you're going to reverse, right? Who knows if we're going to go back to 29,000. At the moment, I'm banking on 34,000 and 32,000, but either way, you know, don't wait until you're like, oh, oh, the bottom is in, the bottom is in, you know, just start a cast average. It rarely fails. So for now, you know, just to summarize, I think we're going down and then we're going up right down first then up and this should all happen within this week right so monday tuesday down probably went no uh, maybe this move will actually end by today you know who knows but for now this is the plan and if we go lower you know you guys are prepared for whatever happens as well so for now may the gains be with you my friends and peace